Hey everyone, in today's video I'm going to be talking about how to achieve a grade 8 or 9 in your triple science subjects. So I actually achieved three grade 9s in my triple science subjects, which is the top grades that you can get. So I had to work really hard for this subject. It's not an easy course, um, there is a lot of content, there is a lot of things to remember and the exams are quite difficult. So it's really important that if you are in year 11 now, that you start working hard, buckling down and follow the advice and tips that I give you. My first piece of advice is to purchase the revision guides. So these are the ones that I use. I used the um, GCSE, Chemistry, Biology, Physics, OCR, CGP revision guides and they are so good because they consolidate and make your notes um, so much simpler by making them very visual and easy to read so they're so good and I would definitely recommend. However, if you're with a different exam board then don't get these because these will probably have things in it that other exam boards don't. So I would definitely recommend, they can be quite pricey, but they are definitely worth it. I use these all the way through, so it's definitely a good investment to make. And I also bought these in conjunction to the revision workbooks. I don't have them with me because they were so tattered and full of stuff and notes that I had to throw them away. But the workbooks basically have um, loads of exam style questions which is so so important with this new 9 to 1 system because we can't really use old past papers because the spec isn't relevant to the new spec so it's really important that you do purchase the workbooks even though they are fairly pricey again but they are definitely worth the investment because a few months before my exams I started working through the workbooks and it really helped me to apply my knowledge so they are definitely definitely worth the investment and they are such a good revision tactic because it's all well and good memorizing the content but actually being able to answer the questions is really really important my next and probably most important piece of advice is to use a specification. So if you don't know what a specification is, it's essentially a document that tells you every single bit of information that you need to know and what you'll be tested on in the course. So anything outside of the spec you won't be tested on. Everything is in there and it's really good coming to exam season. So about a couple months before exam started, I went through the spec with a green and red highlighter. I highlighted anything green that I knew and anything that I didn't know, I highlighted red, which was a really good strategy for me because it meant that I was able to make more efficient and um, time efficient revision if that makes sense so I wasn't going over things that I already knew. I was able to pick out the notes that were in red highlight and revise them thoroughly and maybe glimpse over the other stuff that I knew really well. So you know you don't get much time to revise so it's a really good strategy to help um, you know kind of customize your revision to things that you don't know very well. My next piece of advice is to use flashcards. I was literally a flashcardaholic during Triple Science GCSE. It helped me so much to be able to memorize the information in all of the topics. So when we'd have a module test, I would make a set of flashcards to revise for the module test. And that helped me when I came to end of um, the year 11 and I was able to use the flashcards that I made to revise the topics that I was going over. So it's definitely so important that you make the flashcards when you've done the topic because there was a lot of people in my school year who were making flashcards a few months before the exams and of course they were so stressed out and it wasn't an efficient way to use their time. So doing the flashcards early even though it quite time consuming, it definitely pays off when it comes to exam season, when you have those flashcards ready to go. So I personally use Quizlet, it is just so good, it's an online resource that you can use to make flashcards. If you get the paid subscription, which is um, £12 per year, then it definitely works out well because you can add images and audio and it was really good for me because I was able to use them wherever I went. and. Also, if you get Quizlet, then it's a lot better than paper flashcards, purely because paper flashcards, you have a chance of losing them. Whereas if they're online, then they're gonna be there safe. 
My favourite online resource for triple science was definitely Educate. My school hooked us up with an Educate subscription and essentially Educate is a website that hosts thousands and thousands of questions based on each triple science subject. So I was able to click on GCSE Physics and then click on the topic which I think was in P8, the solar system and revise 50 questions on that. So it really helped me just remember those nitty gritty details and test my knowledge and it helped me so much during that exam period where you don't always want to do reams and reams of revision and notes, you just want to try and test your knowledge. So that helped me so much. Obviously I was very fortunate in the fact that the subscription was paid by my school. I don't know how expensive it is but I would say it was it is definitely worth the investment. Having that there to test your knowledge is so important. My next piece of advice is to do exam style questions. With the new spec we are slightly disadvantaged because there aren't reams of past papers to go through, however there are good resources such as physics and maths tutor, um, your school, workbooks, revision guides where there are exam style questions and I think your exam board posts practice questions also. So they are super helpful and I do advise that you do go through those because it's there's, you, there's only so much that you can do by just revising the content. You have to apply that content and learn how to answer the question to get those top grades. So definitely start doing it now and if your teacher gives you any worksheets with exam style questions make sure you store them away in a file or folder because they will come in handy when you come to exam season so that you don't have to look up all these different questions. My last and probably most obvious piece of advice is to work hard. So you need to make sure that you work hard from the beginning so that it will make it so much easier for you when it comes to exam season because if you work hard before then all that knowledge will be stuck and ingrained in your mind so that when it comes to the exam season your revision time is a lot more efficient and less time consuming because you already have a lot of it stored up here. So make sure you work hard. If you didn't work very hard in year nine and year 10, but you're in year 11 now and want to make that change, it's not too late. Just make sure that you work hard, you revise your content, you make flashcards, you do exam practice questions, do the homework, and that's all you can do. You need to make sure that you work hard because triple science isn't a breeze, it is a lot of content, there is a lot of stuff to learn. You can't just get through it passively. You have to make the change yourself and do the work, do the revision, because that's how you'll get those top grades. Thank you so much everybody for watching. I really hope this video helped you. I I'm not a study YouTuber, I am a cancer YouTuber, so I probably won't do too many of these types of videos, but I am planning on doing one for English language and history, so make sure you watch out for those.